I'm Mark McInturf. I'm the principal and owner of McInturf Architects. We do uh, mostly high design, largely high end residential contemporary architecture in and around Washington. Uh, and I've, I've been doing quality window and cliff, it's gotta be 20 years. Uh, it's frightening to think about that, but I, I think it is that long. And I sort of feel like we've evolved together uh, in fact, maybe even involved with Weathershield together because I've, I've seen their growth in their product line and all that sort of stuff uh, sort of exponentially develop. Uh, yeah. Well, you're talking about two wells in a way. I mean, when you say um, what makes you go back to the well, there's two wells we're talking about here. Why do I use Weathershield windows frequently? Not always, but frequently. And then when I use wetter shield windows, why do I try it as hard as I can for it to be Cliff who's providing them? The, the wetter shield question is that they do almost everything I want a window company to do in terms of sizes and different types of windows and different materials and different options and claddings and so forth. Um, I've probably used almost every major American window company uh, and frequently come up against the fact that, well, they, these, these guys can do everything but that, uh, or but this that I want to do. Um, so that's one of the main reasons I use Weathershield. When I think about, when I'm talking about using a window brand, uh, the person providing it, which in this case is Cliff and Quality Window and Door, as often as possible, I just want to work with somebody who really, really knows the product. You can buy windows from a lumberyard. You can buy windows from a retailer or something, but the person at the counter or the person on the phone who's talking to you about the, the windows doesn't know any more about those windows than they know about the toilets you can buy in the same place. I just want somebody to deal with the windows. That's all. Uh, so that we talk about the profile of the casement window as it sets next to the French door in this condition is going to be that. I know what, I, I know I can take that to the bank and I can't just be dealing with somebody who sort of knows the product. Okay. Well, the, 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 the way the communication works, I guess, in our case, you know, we might be slightly unique, Cliff and I. I mean, you know, we're, we go way back, and, and there are probably lots more recent people who maybe don't have as tight a relationship. I don't know. I mean, I, I can't speak to that. But uh, Cliff tends to be my point of communication. So if I need a weather stripping replacement or question answered or I want the factory to modify a detail, which they will do, uh, I just go through Cliff, and then I, you know, I, uh, certainly I've dealt with lots of other people at Quality, um, but because of our long relationship, it, it, it tends to come essentially the point man is Cliff. You, you, you did do one thing at my house, Cliff, and I don't know whether this was unique, but one, I, I think it is it Bob's son who works for the firm. Yeah. yeah, he turned up at my house one day and did a full-on walk-around critique, and there's still notes on the wall that say shim, shim, you know, stuff like that. Do you do that with all jobs? Yeah, I mean, I thought that. Is Nick okay? So you know, in 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 one case recently, I was on a job site, and actually Nick turned up, and I said, so you know, what 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 are you doing today? And he said, well, I'm going around looking at the installation and making notes on what they need to do because, you know, it's not uncommon to deal with a contractor or a subcontractor who hasn't used that product, and is maybe not paying total attention to all the installation. Uh, specifications and so forth. So Nick was going around and literally making nate notes on, on the, uh, the the stickers that are on the windows. You know, shim this side, shim this side, level this. And uh, I thought that was impressive because it basically means that they're kind of touching every window twice. Once, you know, it you know in the ordering and sending, and once in the kind of there it is. How do we best uh, manage the care of this product? It's telling people on site because that's the last time it's going to be touched. Uh, you know, what to do with it. Yeah. I mean, I think that the level of confidence that you have is, uh, is really important because basically, uh, you know, there, there are moments where we're signing off on something where uh, there's an order that's been, you know, that, that uh, you know, we, we've designed a house, uh, Cliff has put together an order and it come, the order comes back to us and we're checking it against our drawings. If we don't catch something that's wrong, we own it. I mean, so suddenly I owned a really big window or whatever, and we don't want to do that. So I need the confidence that they've written the order the way our drawings are saying to do it, 
and then when that order comes to us, we check it again, but there's kind of a checking going around uh, that prevents the issue, which is not uncommon, of windows arriving or something arriving on the building site and just, tunk, not fitting. And that's a really big problem because windows take a long time to get and they need it to be here now and they are here now and they don't fit so we need to do it again. We lose a number of weeks. So, you know, that's, it's, it's not only the kind of you know, liability of signing off the thing, it's kind of keeping the process fluid. Well, we don't really, we don't really hand it off. I mean, we check it too. But I will tell you, we check other win window orders too and, and they can be frightening, you know, we, or shop drawings of any sort. You know, it's almost like sometimes people will make a shop drawing in a very cursory way just to throw it back to you so that your corrections become the drawing, right? So, you, here, I'm going to do a bad job so you can redo it for me. We don't have time for that. You know, we just don't. I, well, first of all, the, the, in general, I would say the decision of what windows to use, the homeowner pays fairly little attention. You know, they're going to want a good quality insulated glass, you know, low E and, you know, the, the prop, a certain level of performance, but they don't know whether to go here, here, or here, or why even I would choose one company over another. I mean, occasionally somebody will get interested in that, but uh, in general not. So, you know, the, what they're expecting us to do is choose the best window for their situation uh, and get that, get that process going. But they also want to know that if there's a problem that it'll be, it'll be fixed that the quality and weather shield will stand behind the product and the shipping and the getting it there and all, all the ordering and all that sort of stuff. And if there's a problem, it's just going to get solved as quickly as possible and come back. Well, I think from an architect's point of view, you know, what we're looking for, to be frank, is comfort. You know, is, is not just the physical comfort of the building, but the comfort that the process is going to be uh, well managed uh, and, and that, you know, somehow what we have placed on paper early on will be translated to a three-dimensional reality in a pretty seamless way, in an organized way that, you know, that you participate in, but, you know, moves in kind of a regular, predictable way and arrives on site and there are no problems. Yeah, I mean, I, you, you don't form a, let's call it a 20-year relationship with somebody, you know, that, that you know, where there, where there is not success. I mean, that, that, I mean, I, I've got a phone book or I can go on the internet and get lots of window companies, you know, and lots of them want to sell windows to us and, and so forth. But, but what I'm looking for, aside from a good product, is a great track record of service. Uh, and really, maybe the, for one of the main things I'm looking for and I get from Cliff is the, the knowledge of the product, you know, which is hard to, it's hard to overemphasize that. You know, most people think a oh, window's a window. No, it's, it's, 40 little pieces of wood and I don't know how many pieces of weather stripping and glass and so forth and you want to know how all those are put together because in some cases I'll modify that uh, you know within the constraints of what the factory will do um, and it really I've probably even though I've probably used in my career in four or five hundred projects you know 60 different window companies or something maybe 50 I don't know uh, I, I've never encountered anybody with as intimate a knowledge of the thing this little tiny part. It's like your mechanic knowing, you know, this little tiny part of the brake, you know. It, it, it's not, that's different than the guy who sold you the car. Well, I, I think it, it goes back to what I've, what I've been talking about, which is I, I, I almost start with the knowledge of the product. Who's going to really know the product? You can cut out 90% of the competition, you know, right away with that question. And then Who's going to who's going to service the product? Who's going to kind of sort of help you through the whole ordering and procurement process? And then ultimately, who's going to service it at the end of the day? And also, what products they're representing? And this is not you know I mean this is these are weather shield windows. This is not some other you know brand or some some off brand or something. So from the product to the service, all the way down to the knowledge, uh, is why it's it's really in my my comfort zone to stay here.